Joining us to break down the William Barr summary of the Mueller report and all of the issues rippling off of that, Sarah Kenz, your author of The View from Flyover Country, Dispatches from the Forgotten America, and host of Gaslit Nation. Sarah, welcome back to the show. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, great to have you here. Uh, we originally wanted to have you on to talk about uh, impeachment, and then some news developed over the weekend, and it seems like we should probably touch on it a little bit. So um, I've been following uh, your, your, your uh, activity uh, concerning this over the week, but for those who might not have seen, uh, what was your initial reaction to the bar summary of the Mueller report? Uh, it was exactly what I expected, and I'm glad that you're referring to it as the bar summary of the Mueller report instead of the Mueller report. <laughs> I had expected from the start um, that Barr would suppress whatever information Mueller brought forward that would be inflammatory for the Trump administration. That's, in fact, why he was hired. And of course, Barr is someone with a long history of doing this. He was hired, um, you know, he was essential in pardoning uh, Republicans during Iran Contra in the early 90s. He had written a memo condemning the Mueller report. Um, you know, beforehand that essentially functioned as an audition for the attorney general job. Uh, you know, he, he had made his feelings clear. Uh, and so I thought that regardless what had happened, um, you know, with the probe, you know, that was uh, Mar Barr's purpose uh, in being there. So I, I am trying to be very even in saying it might turn out that the 300 plus pages of the, the Mueller report, the actual report of which we've seen about 98 words so far, might end up shockingly confirming everything that Barr has said. But as of right now, uh, we only really have his opinion. I, I don't find much of what he said to be particularly surprising. Do you think that there is reason to believe that when we if we get access to the full report, because despite the fact that Trump is saying it's it's perfect, total exoneration, they're doing everything they can to stop us from actually seeing it, and they might well redact significant portions of it. Do you think that there's reason to believe that it might not end up um, sort of, uh, I guess, buttressing what Barr's interpretation of it was? I mean, Barr put quite a lot of interpretation into those four pages. He only used 64 words from the actual Mueller report in terms of direct quotes. Among those uh, was a quote saying that Trump was not in exonerated, you know, it, um, in contrast to what Trump himself is saying. That said, um, you know, I've had issues with how Mueller has done this probe. He didn't in interview key parties, uh, including Trump himself. He's made plea deals uh, with individuals like uh, Flynn in, in return for essentially nothing that have made me question his judgment. Uh, we've seen an enormous amount of criminality play out in plain sight over the time of the Trump administration. We saw it beforehand during the campaign. Uh, you know, we saw these illicit ties. We saw Trump ask Russia to hack Hillary's emails. You know, they were not subtle about this. And so in order to deny uh, that there is illicit activity between the Trump campaign and Russian oligarchs, mafiosos, uh, you know, Barr tries to frame this as the Russian government, I think, to limit the scope. Uh, you really have to deny reality. You know, do I think that Barr will deny reality? Absolutely. Do I think Mueller will? Um, you know, not as much. He's already indicted a lot of people who are implicated uh, in this probe, including Manafort, Cohen. Uh, you know, Gates pled, Flynn pled. Like the evidence is right in front of us. Um, that all said, I you know I certainly think whatever comes forward, if anything comes forward in the Mueller report, will be far more damning than what Barr wrote. Uh, but it may not be the justice uh, that. That we need as a country, um, you know, to make any progress during this crisis. Thank you very much for watching this clip from the Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.